Hello and welcome to Broadsword Wargaming. In this video, we're looking at Lord of the Rings, we're looking at orcs, because the Age of Man is over. Hello and welcome to another video. Yes, today I am joined by Jack. Hello. Hello, how you doing? And he's brought with him a whole ton of Lord of the Rings stuff. Now, we just filmed a game, so this will be going out first, I'm sure, um, between yourself and Harry. Yep. You took primarily uh, the orcs, didn't you? Just... Yeah, it was Big Mordor Army. Yeah, Big Mordor Army. So that's coming up soon. But for now, he's decided to bring a load of other stuff with him. And we're going to have a little talk about the army you've got here, because it is beautifully painted, uh, absolutely stunning stuff. Yeah. How do you generally run this? And what have you got here? Run me through what you've got and what, what sort so, of stuff you're playing. So first of all, we've got the Witch King in the middle. He's normally my general. He's on his fell beast, and there's, there's him on foot as well. Um, there's a couple of the other named ring race, which are sort of hiding just in front of him. You've got the Dark Marshal this side and are tainted on the other side. Um, and they tend to play, what, what sort of army list are you putting them into or how often do you use them? I've not used the Dark Marshal yet, only because I've only recently painted him. Mm -hmm. um, but the tainted I've played a couple of times. Sometimes I'll take him on a fell beast, sometimes I'll take him on his horse. And he, he's he's good, he's a good supportive character. He's got some nice magic and, and he he just has lots of fun little abilities. How do you get so, on with the fell beasts in general? Um, I struggle using them. They're, right. quite, they're quite complicated. Um, you have to really think about um, how you're using their magic and how you're moving them around. Mm -hmm. um, in the game that we've just played, yeah. uh, he was he was hopeless, but that was more he, down to me. He than was the, useless. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he wasn't the star. Actually, well, I won't spoil it, but yeah, he wasn't the star. I mean, yeah, but it he, was he wasn't the star. Um, yeah. But that does bring me rather nicely into the next character, yeah. the next big guy, uh, who's right down the front. That's Gothmog uh, there with his shield and on a wag. Um, He's a beast. He was an absolute beast. First time I played with him, definitely using him again. Yeah, um, he was man of the match for me. 100%. And what sort of themes does he fit into? Like, is there an army list in particular where he does more? Benefits, or is, is he? I know he's like a warg man himself, isn't he? So he, um, yeah, I found the, the warg riders went really nicely with him because they're, they're they're quick; they can keep up with him really nicely. Um, but he's also uh, he's fantastic with just lots and lots of orcs. He's got right. lots of nice rules that benefit them. Um, he gives them hatred of men, which gives you some some nice re rolls um, and, and pluses to wound and things like that. So he's he's really really quite handy, and he's just a tough tough character. Who which, gets him? Who gets him in the films? Um, Do you ever see him die? I, I don't think you do. I know he does in the books, know. but I don't think you see him die in the films. I think he do does. I reckon it's Aragorn and Gimli that get him. It might be. I'm pretty sure they get it's him. There's an extended edition. I'm sure it is. Yeah. I think you might be right. I'm I can't sure remember. I'm him. a massive Lord of the Rings fan, but yeah. it's in one of those, they isn't get it? Him so he gets on the Palina. Yeah, he gets it, doesn't he? He yeah. deserves it, to be fair. Mind you, you like yeah. the baddies, so... I do, yeah. I've always always been a big fan of the baddies. Same same in all systems, I always go for the bad guys. Dirty fool. Yeah, well... I'm a man of Rohan! <laughs> for wrath and ruin! Let's ride! Yeah. <laughs> so no, what the else age of men is over. <laughs> <laughs> geeks, army yeah. geeks. Yeah. Um, so what else have you got here? So you've got, obviously, the big boys, you've got Gothmog, who else yeah. it is? Um, a got, good list, man? Um, lots and lots of trolls. Um, they're, they're where I sort of started out. Um, I love how monsters play in, in this game. They, they, they can attack things normally. Um, and they're quite nasty doing that, but they also get lots of special moves where they can pick up characters and throw them. Um, you can rend, which is where you, you attack someone based on their strength instead of their defense. Right. They're good against dwarfs and heavily armored stuff. Um, so yeah, they're, they're great fun. They can fling stones as well, which is fun. Can you take a troll um, army? Uh, yeah, that's what that's what I've done before. Um, so uh, a nice 600 point army is is literally all these trolley bits. So I have the, the chief at the front, mm -hmm. take the catapult, uh, that's 300 points, and then I can take just three of the, the regular guys in the middle. Nice. Um, you've also got a couple of other bits, like you can take a troll with a drum, which gives them extra movements and things. So, cool. And then you've got, yeah. the, so you've got the big boys, you've got the little characters, you've yeah. got obviously all the humdrum yeah, orkies down there. Big big blob of common regular Mordor orcs there. Um, I've got Moranan orcs on the way, which are the guys that get the start set. Um, which is just a slightly slightly better version, but you pay a little bit more points wise. Yeah. Um, I've got the, the Wag Riders, which we mentioned before. They, they go really nicely with Gothmog. Again, really, really handy. You hopefully see them uh, later in the video mm -hmm. that's coming up. Um, and then moving across, I've got Shelob at the oh, back. Oh, yeah, I missed her around the back of this tree. What's yeah. she up to? Did she get much, much play time? Is she any good? I've there... seen her quite a lot. She's, hmm. she's cheap as chips. Um, as far as as far as most monsters go, how many points? Um, Ninety points. Oh, so it's yeah. not a lot then, yeah. Yeah, not a lot of points. Um, she she counts as monstrous cavalry, so she can knock stuff over when she runs into them, which is cool. awesome. And then that's kind of this orky bit done. Have we missed? Oh, got a catapult yeah. over there oh, yeah. somewhere. The catapult at the back. Catapult's great fun, and they can cause a lot of disruption. Yeah. And then you have these guys. Let's not ignore the big beastie over here, yeah. right? It's it's not it's plastic though. I was it expecting is. it to be really heavy. I touched no. it and I was like. 
Like, look at that. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm just really strong. That's yeah. like four kilos of plastic. No. Yeah. You've got no, the big boy, so just how does that get on in the games? That's kind of um, a, a daunting model. So, yeah, for starters, as you say, it's quite daunting. So a lot of people will look at it, and if they've not played against a mummy before, yeah, you I'm might scared. think, oh my goodness, how do I deal with that? Um, and even if you have played with one, or played against one or with one before, you might be thinking, oh my goodness, what yeah, do I do I with do that yeah. as well? So, like, um, how, do you, how do you play it? What's the best ways to play them and how do you deal with them? Um, so the important thing with the Mummock is making sure you get to move and charge first. So um, heroic moves are really, really important. Mm -hmm. um, making sure that somebody doesn't charge you first. Um, he has got terror, so that does does help, so people sometimes struggle to get in. But once you do, you stop him in combat, he's 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 a lot less dangerous. Okay, um, I, feel like, I mean, he's a big elephant he's, with horns, right? He's, so. he's still very dangerous, yeah. yeah. He's, he's quite expensive, he's, I think he's 200 and, he's 270 points-ish, yeah, normally, points. yeah. And then there's loads of upgrades you can throw at him, which wow. I always do. Um, but yeah, basically he, he can walk into stuff and you take a straight four strength nine hits as mm -hmm. soon as he touches you, and then if you die, he moves into the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. So if you roll well, you can wipe somebody's army without even being in combat, yeah. um, which is pretty horrible. And then if he fails to kill you by standing on you, he then just stands there and gores you to death with his tusks instead. <laughs> right, okay. So, so he can literally fun. run through everything. He could. Um, if everything was, if this was an opposing army and he was coming you, in the side, I'd love it as the elephant, not so much as the Mordor. Um, and, but we have to talk about the uh, the top of it there. You've got. Oh yes. I did notice in there they don't look like orcs to there, me. There's a a couple of rather controversial <laughs> ladies on top of my my mum. There's, yeah. there's a captain who stood in in the way at the minute. Yeah, but yeah, they're just, just, just back here hiding behind this man. He's been yeah. having a good time up there. What's what's where have they come from? What's the deal with them? Um, so basically, I bought a long time ago uh, a couple of naked ladies from Hassle Free Miniatures who yeah. are quite notable for doing little pinup models, which are rather yeah. rather nice quality and just quite quite fun really. But I I decided to add uh, some some nice. Uh, rich carpets, some fluffy cushions, and two naked it's, ladies. It's awesome. So you've got the carpets and cushions as well. You've done them yourself. You just yeah, found made, them elsewhere. And, and um, I made those from green stuff. <laughs> I sculpted those. They're quite simple to do. It's very cool. Um, so like harems right at the top and some yeah, absolutely. Space. I mean, it's a kind of a Persian feel, isn't it? From those yeah. Guys. The the idea was, I, I mean, um, the inspiration for it came from things like uh, Game of Thrones with the Golden Company with their war elephants, um, but also 300. I was about to say 300, Persian right? Army. Yeah, and I just thought a, a little bit of. A little bit, yeah, of, a little bit of sauce. But that has a caused a bit of, of, bit of controversy, isn't it? As it well? has, yeah. Not all people shine to it. There's some people say it's not very Tolkien, not very Middle Earth, but at the end of the day, it's toy soldiers. And yeah. It's just get over it, right? Get over it, all of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've not got a troll lobbing someone around somewhere, is he? I, I do, yeah. That's, I saw that's that, the, yeah. Next, the next controversial model is my oh, troll yeah. chief at the front. He, um, yeah. Pe Petter had a, had a field day with him. Yeah, there's a couple of people on Facebook got a little bit disgruntled by that. Um, he, he has in one hand, in his left hand, he's actually throwing a, um, a Knight of Minas Tirith, Knight of the White Tower, uh, which, is, which is great. In my books, um, and in the other hand, he has the knight's horse, uh, which he's dragging around by its tail. And um, some people got quite upset about that, but uh, I, I really, really like it. Uh, I know you've got lots of other stuff. What else are you working at the moment? You've got lots of other bits. I, I um, saw you've got a big, another big boy elsewhere, haven't you? Yeah, I've got the the Mummock War Leader to go with the um, Serpent Horde guys at the end. I'm working. That's on the guy. He's like, wow, yeah, on the top, lobbing spears big, around. Big, big guy. And he's got the, the Mummock with the special tusk weapons. That's and all right. That yeah. Stuff. So. And Aimee gets him, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Loves the yeah, spear in his big, not big stupid head. Yeah, he does. He does <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, it hasn't happened on the table yet, but maybe that's because I haven't played with them yet. Yeah, get him out. It's inevitable. Yeah. Um, but it's yes, my, I've got, it's my plan. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've, yeah, fingers crossed, we'll have a game. Yeah. Um, I've got, uh, yeah, that guy coming up. I've got eight half trolls in the pipeline. I think there's two hiding down there somewhere on that far far side. Oh, is that what um, they are? Yeah, oh, there's half are. trolls there. They're from the far Harad list as well. They're 3,300. Um, the, the big beast are, that gets like unchained and hacked around yeah, with the sword, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, yeah, I've got them. I've got. Uh, guys with blowpipes, I've got camel riders on the way. Mm. Um, got Mahood King, he's, he's a nice leader to go with them. So you're going um, for a big pushing this whole force as well? Yeah. As a standalone so, army then? Yeah, so to play with, there'll be a standalone army, um, mm -hmm. or I can ally them with, with the Mordor stuff. So currently, uh, I've, I've included them here because sort of like, um, this this whole army was inspired by Pelena Field. It's all from Return of the King. Um, I wanted part of it more up this end is this sort of the siege side with the trolls and the catapult attacking Minas Tirith, mm -hmm. and then um, the sort of the, the the sea of orcs, the wild riders, Gothmog and the Witch King. They're the ones that are sort of a little bit more active against the the Rohirrim yeah. mm -hmm. um, on on the actual Pelennor itself, and then of course. Theoden's there feeling all smug and he's like, yeah, we've beaten the orcs. And then you hear the war horns 
spoiling and there's the moments start coming in from the east and they're like oh, it's that yeah. face drop on him to be it fair is. like as an actor like amazing and i, yeah. I love third in the films so he's yeah. one of my favorite characters actually but yeah it's just that look around where he's like oh, oh like, dear they've just done it and broken everything and got yeah. there yeah and then yeah that, that sends shivers up the old yeah. spine that bit that's so good so but you like being that how do you like killing him I just, I just love it. I, I, yeah, it's my, it's my mission. I mean, you'll, you'll see what happens in the game that yeah. we had later, later. But um, yeah, it's my mission is to get Theoden with the, with the Witch King and, and just reenact that bit from the films because it's all about narrative for me. And that's the whole point of all hobby, really. But Lord of the Rings, particularly, like we all play it because we love Lord of the Rings. Yeah, absolutely. Like, why else would you? It's all about the characters yeah. and I, the story. I want cool heroes doing stuff and hacking things yeah. around. I'm not really bothered about power playing, and I quite like that. That isn't a huge part of the system. Oh, absolutely, yeah, everything can be bent and broken and people play for different reasons of course but this seems to have a lot less of it, it than some other well-known games that like have a four and a zero and a k in the name right like yeah this is a lot safer for that so absolutely for all new players get into this game the pelinor fields box set great value i think uh and i got that myself and there's just so much to play in that absolutely. you've got the dead you've got the rohan and of course you've got all the other guys so yeah with a few additions i think like a couple of characters for for the Rohan and Definitely. a few more, maybe some trolls or some other yeah. bits you want, you can get a great army out of both of that. And for what's that? Is that 90 quid or something? 90 quid for both. That? 90 quid for both, and you, get, both and you well. get everything in the books. Yeah. You need to buy the army rule book as well. Yeah. Um, but great value for 120 quid, you can have a whole everything you kind of really Absolutely. want. Absolutely. Um, well worth every penny for me. I have loved having these up here. There's loads of shots, I'm sure you've seen them all now. I've loved having them all up here. Do check out your Instagram page, which is. Uh, darling Middle Earth. Darling of Middle Earth, or darling, just Darling? Uh, just Darling Middle Darling. Earth. Well, you yeah. could be the Darling of Middle well, Earth. Maybe. But I'll put maybe. it down there somewhere, <laughs> so you'll, you'll ping up there. Um, yeah. And keep up to date with what you're doing and the new models, and I hope to have you back again at some point. So you've Fingers done a battle crossed. on this now, so yeah. becoming a bit of a channel, regu uh, channel regular here. Fingers crossed, uh, yeah. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it too, so let me know what you think in the comments below. I think this army's awesome and looks beautiful, so do make sure if you want to see any other, any other bits or any of the Lord of the Rings stuff, let me know and I'll try and find someone who's got them or do them myself. Uh, but just thank you very much for coming up and right. showing us be these beautiful models. Uh, if you guys have liked this video, please remember to slap like, share and subscribe. Check below for all the links. I've got some affiliate stuff there. I've got the geek gaming stuff for pacing. Um, I've got my little shop bits down there. And Patreon, because of course, without you guys, I couldn't keep doing this. We're in a studio here, right? Like. We've got lights, I'm looking at three cameras, so I've got mics, so do check that out as well. As for me, that's it. That's it from us as well, both here. Yeah. And I will catch you guys for another video next Friday. Take care. Brilliant. Hey, there we go. Fantastic. Uh